Okay. Acorn squash. Rinsed off. Ready to be sliced. Ready to be cooked. There we go. Very common in some grocery stores. Acorn squash. I like to take that off. Because I don't really want to eat paper. And I do get a little bit of skin <clears throat> mixed in. When I cook it. this one is well you know what I'll do get it wet get it warm rinse it off a little bit more I've already been rinsed once, but... <clears throat> and there we go. A little bit of a cavity there. Take a look at that once I cook it. Once you put enough heat on it, it should be fine. <clears throat> Try to set it so where you can slice it in half without having to... couple little small defects on it but that should be fine once you're done cooking it <clears throat> so we gotta get a big knife because it's big I just went through the wire here big knife here oh yeah that should be big enough <clears throat> And basically just cut it right down the center. There's a little knob up here. Sometimes it does help if you can smack that off. If it doesn't come right off, that's fine. It'll come off in the process. You don't really necessarily need to eat that part. If you cut a little bit off center, shouldn't be a big issue. There we go. Let me tune in a little bit. No, that was, that was me. It's a little bit of a tough nut to crack. <clears throat> Got to scoop out all those insides. <clears throat> Probably do that one hand. capable <clears throat> and 
Now, if you get an heirloom, you can put all these seeds right in your garden. Maybe a couple of them will grow. Rabbits and the rest will do the like. Put the phone down and just do the rest of this. Just want to get all that fiber that's holding the seeds on. You want to get all of it out, just the stuff that's holding the seeds. <clears throat> you can get both halves. Get all those little seeds out because. I don't prefer eating seeds, I don't know, you might, but what I like to do after you get all the seeds out, I mean, I don't, I've eaten a seed or two, I don't mind that, it's just not, not like the way I make a clean little bowl. I like a little bowl. Put my garlic and my butter. Gotta get you some good butter. I'm gonna go grab some butter. We could probably go off step two, but this is my butter I like. I like my butter. Put a healthy amount in. Who knows what's healthy? I mean, not just healthy to me. I'm just saying, not like health wise, but a fair amount, rather a large amount. What I do kind of helps the cooking process. Of course, I put more in the bigger end and then a little bit less than the smaller end because it's it liquefies in the heating process i do it all by microwave you may decide hey i don't like microwaves and whatnot but <clears throat> i've been living around microwaves my whole life i'm 40 something not that bad off some garlic. Again, a healthy amount of garlic. By healthy, again, I mean large amount. It's all going to get mixed in in the end. <clears throat> all right, stick some more butter in there. So it needs to get filled up. So, that's very simple preparation. Cut it, gut it, fill it. So, once we cut it, gut it, and fill it, time to cook it.
put a nice little little pad of paper towel in there. Paper towel doesn't really seem to be affected by the microwaving process, so it'll catch any of the spillage. And any of the little, little bit of the overflow. Sometimes those little uh, cavities I was saying earlier, they'll, they'll break. So we'll do about 10 minutes with one this size. And <clears throat> while that's cooking, you start to clean up. Dee, dee, dee. Put everything away. Cover the butter up a little bit. Nothing's really going to happen with the butter, but put that away. wrong with eating a little little raw garlic Woo. clean the spoon up before I put it in the dishwasher put that away I recycle the wax paper wash the knife and cutting board off again you can use these seeds, just throw them in the ground, wherever you got enough space. Squash likes a large space to grow, so if you throw a whole bunch of these in the ground, just as it is, you know, you want, if you grow in this many, you may get maybe like five or six squash out of that tops. Uh, it takes a while for them to generate a... Uh, actual flower and then the flower turns into into I guess it's a nut maybe a nut whatever the squash is but <clears throat> I don't have enough space for that so I end up tossing it maybe in some cosmic landfill that'll get reused and recycled somehow but I sell them enough by the grocery store that I don't feel the need to actually go out and grow it. <clears throat> but if someday that we don't have grocery stores and whatnot, you know, you're going to want to reuse that. So, I might clean it up. Waiting for your squash to cook. Again, some people don't like the microwave, but it's the easiest way I've come across and had no issue with it since I was a little boy. Then you just go out and do something that's unhealthy, they say. and smoke everybody's out they're using the power washer <clears throat> people are mowing lawns got my azaleas popping pink Popping pink for the cure. That's part of uh, another thing I was looking up is the cure. If people just knew that you don't really need a cure. All you need to do is eat a non-acidic or keep your body non-acidic. Then you wouldn't need a cure for breast cancer. You just wouldn't get it. I mean, there may be some one-offs here and there. It's not 100% uh, settled, but...
from some of the researchers I've listened to, the only bodies that they've come across and autopsied that have cancer have a high pH. The, the acidity level in their body is high. The bodies that they come across that don't have cancer have a more alkaline pH in their body. And they say that they've never come across a body that's dead without a high pH, without a high acidic level. So maybe there is something to having a smoke along with having a high pH that makes your makes your body create the cancer inside of it. Who knows? I'm sure they do, but they won't tell you. They won't tell you, no, you can go ahead and smoke all you want as long as you eat the right things. Why would they? What's good for them? How's it going to make them money? I got a little, little friend just walked up and said hello. But all the things that you need to do to create a alkaline pH in your body, they do take time because it's hard to find all these things. There, there goes my neighbor. Firing up his power washer. Which begs the question, why does it, why do they make it so hard? Why do they want to keep you sick? Why do they need to keep us ill? Why don't they just tell us these are the correct things to eat so you don't die a horrible, tragic, cancer-filled existence? And some say, yeah, it's about the money. Sure, maybe about the money, but where's the money coming from? Who's paying that money? Why are they paying that money? He's really going at it. Get it clean. Anyway, well, at about a certain point, maybe about five minutes into uh, the microwave process, somewhere around the five minute point, you want to just go in there and poke it a couple times. Poke those little fibers, let that, uh, let that butter settle in. Let all the moisture get into the to the heart of it. Man, that's obnoxiously loud. Well, gone long here. Ten minutes, that's not going to spoil anything. A nice boiling. Near boil. Oh, yeah. Nice and mushy. Doesn't really matter if you poke it too much. Sometimes it just makes you feel better. Something to do while you're waiting around.
Got nothing better to do. Go smoke a cigarette. Whatever. Oh, yeah. It's nice and mushy. See how the paper towel catches that little bit of butter? Got to make sure you wipe off the microwave once you're done because you get a little spatter. I just build up over time and it's not good. Just give it another minute. When it comes out, it's going to be hot. Real hot. So, make sure you get yourself a plate. Could stick it in a bowl to start off with. I don't really get too far into that. As long as we get it nice and mushy, we can clean the microwave. Oh, that's nice and mushy. So, transference. Again, when you boil butter for that long, it's going to leave some residue. You want to make sure you clean that out. Also, just nice for anybody else who, if you have a community microwave, just want to keep things clean, polite. It'd be nice. Like I said, it is a process. First, you got to find the stuff, then you got to cook it, and. Squash it, squash it, squash it, squash it. Mix it all up. Get all that butter and garlic. You're gonna get some skin in here. It'll break through a little bit. A little, little top didn't come off. Yeah, see a lot of that butter just leaks out anyway. So, like I said, a healthy amount of butter. As long as you get, you know, so you're not using like a 
hydro oil, butter or whatever. It's natural cow's milk or goat's milk butter or whatever. Garlic, now it's no longer raw. Now it just cooks up. Also, you can, you know, like I said, throw some turmeric in there while you're cooking it. Throw some pepper on it. But while you're cooking it, it gets real hot. You see steam coming off. And then once it's done being cooked, it's gonna be real hot for a little bit. So you don't wanna stick it in your mouth right away and burn your tongue off. going to use a bowl that's fine but the uh, shell itself does create sort of a natural bowl and if you squish it too hard it breaks up a little bit but you can go all the way to the edge get all those little fibers And you get a little bit of skin in there. Just a little bit of skin. It's not going to hurt you. But yeah, you go back and forth between the two halves. As it starts to cool down, it starts to get a little bit easier to break up and squish, squish it up. Get all that garlic mixed in with all those little fibers. See the steam coming off. Still even after a couple minutes squishing it still real hot if you're gonna cook it in the oven because you're you know afraid of microwaves or you don't have a oven still it's gonna take longer but it's still gonna be hot too hot to eat after even a couple minutes so just keep squishing it mix it all up Scrape the size a little bit. That's why I use a fork. Scrape the size a little bit. Of course, you're gonna break the seal a little. Mix it up. So there you go that's it like I said it does take a little bit of time to eat healthy why because they make it so why do they make it so I don't know 